Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kathy. Today I wanted to just do a quick video on one of the new um, card workshops that you can get in the spring summer 2014 um, Close to My Heart idea book. So this is actually the new um, idea book. It actually starts on um, February the 1st. Um, so if you don't have a consultant and you live in Canada, um, you can just leave a comment below and I can get make sure that you get a copy of your own if you're interested in one. Um, so on page 74 and 75 are the two um, workshop kits that you can get in this book. So um, I'm going to be showing you the one on page 74 and it is called the Ivy Lane card making kit. So I'm going to be showing you <clears throat> what you get in the kit and also the completed cards and just give you some ideas about how the kits actually work and how you can make them um, on your own at home. So what you're going to notice when you get your kit is you're going to get the guide. So that's what this is and when you open it up you're going to notice that on the very first page is basically th there's three different cards that you get to make in the kit and you get to make five of each of the three cards so you get 15 cards and envelopes all together in the kit so on the first page it kind of just shows you the um, the layout of the cards and then here it also mentions sort of what else you're going to need to make the kit so in this case um, um, it uses the Art Philosophy Cricut cartridge. I'm going to show you that in a sec. But there's also this little tips here, which is good because it tells you some things to do, like just some things to keep in mind when you're doing the workshop. So make sure that you read those as well. So the next thing you notice about the guide is this page. So here it's going to show you which cardstock you're going to need. So you're going to get all this different cardstock in your kit. So you take out the cocoa um, cardstock and then it tells you exactly what to cut it. So these are just cuts on your um, paper trimmer, but then these are the cuts on the um, Art Philosophy Cricut cartridge. So down here you're going to notice on page 66 of the Art Philosophy Cricut cartridge, you basically set your dial to three quarters and then you pick font and then shape number five and you cut five of those. So that's what it does for each of the sheets. It tells you exactly what you're going to need to do. So this one again, you're going to be doing, making these two different cuts with the um, Cricut, the Art Philosophy cartridge. And it tells you the first one is um, for 1D, you put it at two and three quarters, then you pick shape number 10 and you cut five of those. So it's super easy. It tells you exactly what you're going to need to do for each of those um, sheets. Now for these two sheets there's no Cricut cuts you actually just cut it using your paper trimmer and you just have to notice there are some times where it tells you there's an asterisk so for these ones there's a little asterisk and that you're going to be using the back of the paper so for this paper it's double sided but you're going to cut it this way but then you're going to flip it over and use the other side on the actual card and then that is your other one. So then what you do is when you open up the rest of the guide, it tells you all of the three cards that you're gonna be making. I'm just gonna zoom out. So it shows you the three cards, and usually what I do is I just bend back that first page. So it shows you the three cards that you're gonna be making so that you can use it as a reference when you're putting your card together. So what you wanna notice though is for each of the cards, again, it gives you little tips on how to actually do that section of the card. So make sure you pay attention to those because those are really good tips. Like for instance, when, when you cut this piece of cardstock in the um, Cricut, when you go to put it on the card, it's actually too long on both sides. So it tells you here that you have to attach it. You kind of center it basically, and then you want to trim out the edges. So it gives you that little tip there. So there are the three different cards. And then on the back of the guide, it just shows you, this is the other workshop on the go that you can get. It's using the Lolly Doodle um, card making kit, it's called. And then this is also one of our scrapbooking kits. So not only do we sell um, card kits, but we also sell scrapbooking kits. And it's the same idea. You're gonna get a guide like this. You're gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna show you a two page layout. And then it's gonna do, show you all the cuts and exactly how to assemble it when you get it. So these are really fun to make. So 
when I made these cards, um, I would say that for it took me about half an hour to cut um, all the shapes and cut all to use my paper trimmer to cut all the shapes, and then about two hours to assemble all the cards and do all the stamping and all that stuff. So this is the stamp set. So you get a stamp set in the kit. So this is the stamp set, and I was so impressed with this workshop because we used every single image on this stamp set. I, I love it when they do that because then you're just using the whole stamp set which I really enjoyed. So this is the stamp set that comes with it. Then you get these little, um, I forget what they call these, they're like little like embellishments. So there's different ones. So I'm going to show you on the cards close up but you basically got four sheets of four different colors of embellishments. You got this gold um, trim which is sticky back so there's just you just peel off the back and then it sticks down right on your project so that's pretty cool and this gold trim you cannot otherwise buy in um, our idea book like it only comes in this kit and there are some things like that you'll find with some of the workshop especially the card workshops I find there's things in there that you can't get um, otherwise you have to get them in the kit and then there there's the envelopes and the card bases were in here as well but I've already used those so you get that as well so this is the first card that I made and um, there's the little those little embellishments on there and then there's like three more on here and what I did is you you can decide but I just popped up this one and then this one and I just put this one down right on the card so I could have popped that up as well like you can do as much popping up as you desire but in this case I just did that so there's the first card and the second card is a nice friendship card so um, what, what you do here is when you stamp this out you just stamp it out and then trim it out but this is one of the shapes that we cut so then if you notice like in your um, stamp set this image is that shape and it fits perfectly in the, in the cut from the Cricut so that's why the Cricut's come in really handy so that's the second card and then this is the third card that it makes you get five you make five of each of these cards so um, and again I just popped up this little flower here and then I popped up this this bigger piece as well so that is the third card so I'm th I hope that um, you enjoyed this video it's just a quick video I just wanted to show you um, how our card um, kits work and I hope that you have the opportunity to get one of these kits either the scrapbooking ones or the card making ones they're both really fun to make and like I said at the beginning if you don't have a consultant in Canada and you want to get your own idea book I'd be happy to mail you one so just leave the information or send me a message below and um, I'll be sure to get back to you so thank you so much for watching and until next time happy crafting thanks bye bye